So the first time I ever encountered this technique was about a year ago. My buddy and I were just playing some friendlies when I accidentally did what appeared to be an instant ledge get up into a forward tilt with Lucina. Ever since then, I've had a pretty hard time replicating it until just recently. So at long last, here's my tutorial on probably the hardest technique in Smash 4. I'll cover how to do it along with its applications. To start off, choose Lucina and go to Lilat. It works on other levels and with other characters too, but I highly recommend you to start practicing on Lilat first, since it's much easier to perform here. What you need to do is wait for one side of the level to tilt up all the way, then grab the ledge. It can be either side as long as it's tilted up. Hit back to drop off the ledge, and within 3 to 5 frames after, hit forward, then within 1 to 2 frames, hit jump. If successful, Lucina's jump will be cancelled and she'll land on the stage with no lag. You can be off a little bit on the timing on Lilat and still get it, but on other stationary stages like Battlefield, it requires much more precise timing. Keep in mind that 3 frames is 1 20th of a second, which means it's going to be hard to time back, forward, then jump perfectly with reasonable consistency. What you can do though is try to buffer forward by hitting it 2 or 3 times after you drop off the ledge and jump. This should increase your success rate, but consequently your character will probably dash immediately once on stage. Don't fret if you don't get it the first try, the second try, or even the 50th try. Just don't give up. Once you do get the timing down and have it ingrained in your muscle memory, it'll get easier. This can potentially be a game-changing technique, if mastered. And here are all the stages and characters that this lagless ledge getup works on. Timing varies between some characters. And just to know, these are just the ones I've successfully been able to replicate it with. There may be more levels and characters that this works on. Now let's talk about applications. The effect of this tech is similar to platform cancelling in Brawl, but it happens on the ledge, which has much more implications since it opens up a whole new layer of options for a fundamental part of the game, recovery. For example, sometimes you may find your opponent shielding near the edge trying to bait maybe a getup attack. You can counter this by doing a lagless ledge getup into a grab. If you're unsure what your opponent's gonna do, you can always input a roll away, or a dash away, or sidesteps or even go for an attack, like a smash, jabs, or how about a KO punch. These are just some examples, there are of course countless possibilities. The only downside with this technique is that it gives you no invincibility frames, unlike some of the regular getup options, so it would be wise to mix it up. While on topic, I might as well mention this too. If you jump from the ledge then use counter the moment you're about to leave the ledge, your character will instantly land on the stage with counter if timed properly. This works for anyone who has counter except Palutena, and does not require the lagless ledge getup tech. Before I wrap up, I want to give a shout out to Zan, who also made a video demoing this tech, which inspired me to hit the lab with it again. Well guys, that's all for this tutorial. As you've seen, I've only been able to replicate this with a portion of the cast and levels. So if you're able to do it with more characters, I'd appreciate it if you record it, tell me, and I'll update this video with some annotations. Thanks a bunch. With that said, practice hard and I'll see you in the next video. Also, cloud hype.